I'm going to walk you through the exact same setup that you need in order to start to generate leads and business for your local service company in 2023. This is a strategy that I used in 2022 and 2021, but since Facebook has updated some things, this is an up-to-date version of that. Our starting point, as usual, is the Facebook Ads Manager. This is what the back end looks like. And for this example, I'm going to be walking you through setting up an ad for a junk removal company. Now, if you stick around all the way to the end, I'm also going to show you the automated process that we use to set up so you can turn a lot of those leads into paying customers. So, so the first thing is click on this green button that says Create. And this is going to open the new ODAX interface. Once you're on this screen, what you're going to do here is actually choose the goal, the objective that you want uh, your campaign to have and in this case we're going to click on leads and you're going to click on continue facebook is then going to build up the ad structure lead ad campaign ad set and actual ad the very first thing that you want to do from the campaign level is go ahead and give this campaign uh, a simple name that makes sense to you and then once you do that scroll down here to where it says advance uh, advantage campaign budget and, and go ahead and click this button to turn this off next you're going to want to click on lead ad set and we are going to be setting up a few other parameters in here things like budget uh, location of the campaign and demographic but before we do all that you want to go ahead and give this an actual name that makes sense to you the next thing that you're going to do is highlight the conversion section this is a conversion location this is a new portion of Facebook where now you're allowed to define where that conversion happens, where that conversation initially starts. And for the purpose of this training, you're going to just go ahead and click on instant forms. Next section you're going to come down to is the daily budget. This is where you're going to be able to set your budget. Now, whatever your budget is, your budget is. I recommend that you start um, with 10 to 20 bucks per day and then increase as you start to get traction on your ads. The next section that you're going to go to is the audience section. This is where you're going to define where you want your leads to come from and where your service areas are from. If you are a service area business like the one that we're setting up right now, you want to create the different ads for different service areas so that your ad copy can actually talk to those people specifically in those cities or zip codes that you want to advertise in. Next, what you're going to want to do is choose your age and your gender and maybe a few other demographic details if you've got them. So typically, your average 18-year-old isn't going to be your perfect client, so choose the age range of your ideal customer. Uh, if you've been in business for some time, this should be pretty straightforward. You know what the minimum range is of people who are buying your services. The next thing that you want to come down to is the placement section. Now, before I go any further, I do want to tell you that if you're watching this video and you want to dive deeper into this process, you want to learn how to set this up in a more step-by-step -step method uh, with some over-the-shoulder hand-holding. Uh, I do have a mini workshop that you can check out in the description of this video. I walk you through setting up the entire thing, nuts and bolts, all the way through the automation. I even walk you through setting up and creating the perfect offer that is going to allow more of those leads to come in at affordable cost, all the way through the process of converting them with automation. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and check that out in the description um, of this video. Now, when it comes to placements, this is where you're going to go ahead and set up which placements you want your ads to show up in. Uh, typically, uh, you know, you want to take some things into consideration here. If you don't have an Instagram account, for example, then don't go ahead and choose Instagram because it's just not going to be something that's going to work for you, right? Um, don't go ahead and choose placements that you don't want to be a part of. So, exam for example, Messenger Stories and a few others in here. So, pick the ones that you want your advertising to show up for um, before you move on to the next step. Once you've done this, click on over to the new lead ad section here. And this is where we are going to be crafting our ad and creating our copy. The next thing that you're going to want to do is under ad setup, you are going to select either single image or carousel ad. Then come down to add creative and this is where we're going to add our media. So once you click on this add media button, you can choose whether you want to have video or images that show up as the creative of your ad. Once the media library opens up, you can actually select from the pictures that you've got in the library or the pictures that are on your Facebook page or even upload something altogether using this upload button. Once I have my image selected, I can see what it's gonna look like here on the right hand side. Next, you're gonna to have to create your ad copy, your headline, and your description in here. Once you have your primary text in here, this is the actual offer that you're gonna be creating your ad copy. Uh, you're gonna choose a headline 
possible description, and your call to action. Now, again, if you want to dive deeper into this process and you want to learn all about creating great offers that actually convert, go ahead and check out the mini workshop that I got listed for you. I'll walk you through the entire process in more details, and you get to watch over my shoulder as I create ads. The next thing that you're going to want to do is actually select the lead capture mechanism. This is what people are going to see once they click on your ad in order to fill out the information and become a lead. So from here, what you want to do is click on create form. And this is going to open up the create form section. This is where we're going to be creating our actual form and um, capturing lead data. So the very first thing that you want to do is give this a form name that actually makes sense and then choose from different form types, either more volume, higher intent or custom. Then you want to come down to the intro section and click on uh, greetings and you want to give this a headline. Now you only have 60 characters to work with. So make sure that this is a eye catching headline. Keep it congruent with whatever your ad copy was. Once you do that, click on the questions and this is where uh, the rubber meets the road. These are the qualifying questions that you are going to need to answer or your prospects need to fill out in order for them to become leads. Now, here's a little caveat with these type of ads. This information pre-fills from their Facebook profile onto this form. So you wanna create additional barriers to enter here. You wanna have some custom questions in here that they're gonna have to physically uh, type in in order for those leads to be better quality. And in order to do that, you can click on add question and maybe choose a short answer and plug in your question in here. Next is going to be your private policy. So go ahead and get the actual link to the private policy page that's on your website, paste it here where it says link, and then type in a link text. Last, you're going to click on messages for leads. And this is the final screen that they're going to see, almost like a thank you page here. Uh, from this page, you want to tell them exactly what they're going to be experiencing and what's going to happen next. Once you do this, go ahead and click on publish and that's going to bring you right back out here to the ad section where you can go ahead and finish your ad. Once you've connected everything, go ahead and click on this green publish button and this ad is going to go up for review on Facebook. Now the next step that I'm going to show you is how we actually bridge the gap. Running ads and generating leads is one thing, but making those leads turn into sales is a completely different animal. And somewhere between the leads and the sales process is no man's land. I'm gonna show you what we do in order to fill that gap and actually close more of the leads that come in. So one of the things that we do is actually connect the Facebook lead ads to our to this backend tool here where we can automate a lot of that process. So let me show you how this works. Once the lead ad is connected or once the lead ad once the lead ad runs, then we connect it to the back end here and we create a series of automated text and calls and follow up emails that will bridge that gap. So as soon as the lead comes in through a form and they submit that information request, um, a tag is added to that lead, basically notifying that it's a lead. Then an opportunity is created and an internal notification goes to the customer, letting them know that, hey, somebody submitted a request for junk removal or whatever service you've got. Here's their name, their email, their phone number, the details of that lead uh, onto the salespeople. At the exact same time, instantly an email goes out to the lead following up with them via email and a text message goes out to them immediately saying something like, hey, this is Armando with ABC Junk Removal. Uh, thank you for reaching out, requesting a quote. Um, we're going to call you in about five minutes or, hey, can you send us some pictures? We need a little bit more detail, etc." The system then is going to wait about uh, five minutes or so, and it's going to wait for a response. If they do not respond, then we go ahead and continue to follow up with them via text message, via email, and via voicemail drop. If the customer happens to respond, then we ask him for a time to call or a booking link and get sent to them so they can get a on their calendar in order to have one of our sales representatives or you know our schedulers uh, call them on the spot this prevents a lot of the problems that i see with local business owners where if you're on a job site and a call comes in and you don't pick up that phone they're going to call your competitors and whoever answers the phone first is going to win now this is a strategy that's still working in 2023 in fact we use that right now for a lot of our campaigns that are that are live if you're watching this and you want to actually use this tool and implement this in your business, I also left the link 
uh, in the description of this video to this exact same workflow. I think the tool uh, gives you a 14 to 30 day free trial. You, you can import this snapshot into it and be up and running fairly quickly. Uh, if you want to learn more about this and you want to dive deeper into creating ads that actually are profitable, uh, I have a local lead mastery workshop. Like I said, it is linked in the description if that's something you're interested in. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.